Megan is an illustrator and writer. She likes to travel, remove annoying decisions, and believes in mystical attachments to certain very specific material goods. Give it up for Megan. Now, I'd like to talk to you about these adults uh, learning that we all have a, a sad bit of disappointment and fascism we have to deal with. And this is what you look like when you realize it, except for her up there. Anyway, now I want to take us through this in a kind of interesting, possibly boring for you, place, which is called women's fashion. Now, what are you supposed to wear? We live in a modern world. It's whatever. We don't have to obey a bunch of religious elders and just pick from three colors and pretend that we don't make eye contact except for one, right? We get to do, we get to wear whatever we want. We can, uh, there's, there's no guidelines. We can wear skirts or be a nurse or wear nothing, which is that white space. <laughs> Good one. Uh, <coughs> or, you know, something complicated from Japan. <laughs> what we're supposed to do is just follow our inner guiding light, right? Isn't that what we all say? Hey, we have inner choice and, you know, just you consult yourself and see what yourself says. Um, there's a phrase I was looking for, I was trying to Google, well, this isn't it. You are what you love, St. Augustine. It was supposed to be, your soul leaps at what it knows is true. I guess I dreamt that, because I couldn't find it on Google. So this is the other one, okay? So that's it. You're supposed to see if you love something, that's what you do, you wear it, right? Now this is how I feel when I go to a party. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you say, I have a very long neck, um, I feel that my face is too small, I get nervous, it's anxiety, this is what it looks like when you're shy. Um, and now I also, this to me is a repulsive picture. I have a very sensitive neck, nothing can touch it when I sleep, I have to make a tent with my covers, it's annoying. I also have um, a large thyroid, so if you're a doctor, you're someone who says, you should really get that checked out, which is confusing when you're at a party, which happened. I also <laughs> apparently uh, have a very blocked throat chakra, which was annoying. Um, I've had my, you know, things checked, and everyone always says, oh, you can't express yourself, which is true. I repress a lot of emotions. Uh, <coughs> so, now imagine that you go to Berlin with a friend, and it's a terrible vacation because it's four degrees, and your friend's texting the whole time. Uh, that happened to me also. Now, on this vacation, we went to a very specific part, which is called the Turkish Market in Berlin. My friend said, I hate markets, and texted. Uh, when we were there, I found a place that was a little stall that sold these giant blanket scarves. And it was like a dream come true because a scarf I can block my uh, throat. Now this is what Google says is a soulmate. So that's what happened when I saw this very specific scarf. And to describe it to you, it kind of looked like someone saw a Navajo blanket and then went on a drug trip and then kind of had 10 years go by and then was like, I'll weave this, I don't know. Um, but when I saw this scarf, I felt joy and fulfillment. <laughs> That's Amazon. These are all my favorite colors. I brought it home. It, it was terrific. Now, this is the actual scarf. Now, I know now that you see it, you're going to say to yourself, mm, yeah, I don't really like those colors because everyone's a judgmental fuck. But uh, <laughs> for me, this hides my neck and makes a tent from my head to my shoulders. It's fantastic. I feel like I'm kind of wearing art, right? I like that. Um, <coughs> whatever. Um, <laughs> so it kind of makes you totally invulnerable if you have, like, you know, the place that's, uh, you could be beheaded easily, which is sometimes what I think about. <laughs> and it also is such a nice scarf that people would talk to me in public. So if you're kind of a shy, weird person and you go out and they say, hey, I really love your scarf, what that does, and it makes you want to never, ever take it off, ever. Now, the problem is, the world is filled with judgment, like I said. So I started to slowly get this face from people that were very close to me, like my mother, who said, not with that goddamn scarf. <laughs> so it's something that I had to learn and integrate with my personality, because apparently, this is seasonal depression, and it comes up because of repetition. And people get upset when they see things that are repeated. So apparently, I wore the scarf too much, which fine, I guess maybe I did, because I did wear it every day in the winter for four years. <laughs> so I now have to accept that apparently there is one rule here, you know, where they say that there isn't. We don't have a team of elders in theory, although we all do. Everyone loves to tell people what they can and can't wear. 
So when you hear that small flame inside of you, which the Quakers all taught us about, you have to ignore it and say, I'm sorry, you have to change and buy a new scarf because apparently now it has pills on it, which I just noticed now that people started judging it. So uh, <laughs> to quote Gloria Steinem, the truth will set you free, but first it will piss you off. <laughs> Goodbyes to my scarf. <laughs>